G'day guys, welcome back to the Power 9 Grind, the channel where we are trying to grind ourselves a set of unlimited Power 9 for free by going through a series of random buys, trying to grind out some value. Okay guys, I got another little random buy for us today, but still exciting. Um, why is it exciting? Uh, I'll show you some photos now. Guys, we got some old cards that we're going through to today. So these ones, just looking at the photo here, they look like they were um, uh, kind of leftovers from a garage sale. You know, there's some writing on a, a little um, set big, more big sandwich bag full of cards. And um, so this was for sale for, I think the ad said $50. Uh, and I've got some rares as well. So I inquired with the seller. I said, oh yeah, I'm interested in these and I'm interested... Um, in uh, your other cards you mentioned. And yeah, so it showed me, um, uh, I think it's an 8th edition foil Elvis Champion and a Phage the Untouchable. So both, you know, pickable cards, good cards. Um, but nothing too crazy. So um, we did the deal in the end for this for the big sandwich bag of cards plus um, those few rares in there as well plus postage it all came to fifty dollars plus postage so sixty bucks we agreed on uh, and what else did i notice oh one thing that caught my eye was that um not only is it old cards which is awesome i'll ha love any excuse to go through some older silver age cards but um i did see in the bag as well it looked like there was a um a smother from um the Pro, so the championship decks, so the Berlin deck, which is interesting, right? Because that deck has um, a few decent cards in it. But again, I'm thinking that if he's pulled all the, the decent rares off to the side, then um, maybe we're just dealing in commons and uncommons. So there's supposed to be about a thousand cards in here. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to go through it. And at 60 bucks, I don't think it's a huge... Um, gamble hopefully we'll pick out some good bulk um and get more than our money back all right let's crack this open now all righty what do we got yeah there we go Lovely sandwich bags. Oh, two different types of sandwich bags. Okay, we got. Cool. So, yeah. Fade the Untouchable. Played, unfortunately. I wish you were untouchable. But you have been played a bit. So we've got. Fade the Untouchable. Oh, VG at most. Still cool. And then we did, <clears throat> so apparently he's got a couple of these Elvish Champions, which are a bit played. Feels a bit thick. Elvish Champion Foil. Oh. What are we calling that? I'm just going to go straight to damage, pretty much. Bummer. Okay. Hopefully this other one's in a bit better. Nick. Oh, under Heedless One. I think that might be pickable. But yeah, it's still a bit rough. So Elvis Champion. 8th Edition Foil. Well, that one's not too bad. But yeah, these ones were part of like an intro pack, so it's why they're like the most least valuable Elvish champion rolling around. Cool. Oh, didn't see that one behind there. <laughs> oh, a bit beat up, but how cool is an old shooting star foil? So we got a divergent growth in here. Nice. Divergent growth, bit beat up. Okay, cool. So 
Sweet. Oh, well, hopefully we get a few more shooting star foils. Oh, we've got some old Borderlands. Nice. Oh, we've seen better days. There we go. That's a nice one. A bit better. Oh, there we go. Seventh edition shooting star. How we doing? That's pretty good. Not unreasonable. Wow. Nice. And we've got some more land. Very nice. This guy did mention that he was into elves, so I'm expecting that it's going to be a fair bit of green. This might be an elf deck. Yeah, there you go. Some classic elves. Oh. Wonder where the. There you go. So that's how. First... Oh, okay. So that's a different. Oh no, it is Berlin. Okay. Just put championship cards off to the side. Channeler might be alright. Ooh, well wish up. No, that's good. Ooh, in a moment's pace. Nice. Again. Very played. Is that, a, is that a shuffle crate? No. Another wheel wisher. Sweet, we've got the whole play set. Nice. Ooh, we do have rares. Oh yeah, soul tiller. No worries. Epic struggle might be alright. Cool. Nice tribal force mage, got two of them. Oh, an cryptic gateway. Oh, again, a bit played. I think that's been reprinted. Cool. Okay. Well, that's promising. You know, there's more rares than I was expecting to see, so that's good. Oh, got some more fancies here. Glissus Sunseeker. Too bad. Voice of the Woods. Okay. It's a bit thick. What else you got? Another headless one. Okay. <laughs> right away. Got another headless one. Oh, and another Elvish Champion. Nice. How are you doing? Cool. Well, he said he only had two, but maybe he'd fully written off that damaged one at the back. Awesome. Okay. Sweet. Now on to maybe a blue deck. Another rare. And, oh, okay, we might actually just write that whole one off. Tide Mangler. I'm just going to toss that. Parallel Thoughts. That might be a good... Oh, my gosh. It's destroyed. Yikes. Temporal Cascade. Oh, these all have some massive ding in them. That one's okay. What's that one? Wartax. Okay. Ancestral memories. Okay. Oh, seats. Ah, oh, yes, I was hoping it was going to be a seat. 
Nice. More land. Let's see. Oh, here you go. This is what I saw in the ad. Okay, come on, gold water. Let's see what you got. Got a smother. Hey, you got a rare. You got a doomed necromancer. We got a disrupting scepter. Insidious streams. I think that one goes all right. Hmm. Okay. Haunting echoes. I think that one's okay. Yeah, sweet. Okay, we got cable therapies. We got one, two, three of them. Nice. And a larceny. Tainted. I'll pick the tainted. Oh, boom. I mean, again, you know, it's not the $70 card it used to be, but how are we doing? We're doing good. Cabal Coffers. This is exactly what I was hoping for for this kind of buy. I thought we wouldn't be getting any rares, really. So, awesome. Okay. Big hit. That can have some kind of special spot. Oh, yes. Another foil 7th edition. Sweet. How we doing? Good. Nice. Corpse Harvester, I think. It's pickable. Another Tainted. Oh, Cabal Ritual, again, great card. Like, the best you could hope for from a common and uncommon slot in this era. Nice. Excellent. Oh, there we go. I think that's still about 10 bucks. Bolt of Whispers, sweet. A little, oh, that's not too bad. Oh, that was pretty cool. Alright, back to green. Whoa, brood sliver. Nice. I mean, I know it's come back a ways. That's good. Excellent. More gold border. We've got a vengeful dreams. Wrath of God, whoa, what's going on here? Yikes. I don't know what that is. Oh well. Age of Sentinels. Whirlpool Warrior. Oh, Ward Sliver. That might be something. Some pretty good condition generally for those. 
That's awesome. Oh, buried alive. Very nice. Awesome. Wow. I was actually hoping for the one for the jewel deck that's actually not as valuable as this. I'm surprised at Jack, that one. Cool. Not jewel deck, the Berlin deck. Anyway. Ooh, Master Healer, bit beat up. Wing Shards used to be something. Chroma's Blessing, maybe. Another Wing Shards. There's an Advocate, don't know. Don't know. The Wumpus. Explosive vegetation, not bad. Beat up. Another explosive vegetation. Better shape. Ancient Den. Cool. Ooh, Odyssey Plains. Do it. Yeah. This one's... That one's a bigger hit.
Oh, we got another buried alive. And is that another one back there? Rithid wretch, maybe. Buried alive. Look at that. Wow. So we hit three of those. They're like, I don't know, they're like six bucks each or something, maybe more. Blanks. I think blanks might actually be worth something. Berlin blank. Ooh, Talisman of Dominance. They come back a long way, but it's all good. Whoa. A foil rare. Shooting star foil. Rare. Onslaught. Drain Chisel. Whoa. Look, if it's shooting star, it's got to be worth something. Oh, I don't know. Go on, chuck it down there. A rare suffocating blast. Armadillo cloak, pick it. Heart of Ramos, a bit beaten up. Chromatic sphere, yeah, they're pickable. Oh, we've got the old border as well. Cool. Oh, we got another blank. Whoa. Oh no. Is that. Oh, look at that. Ouch. Rubber Band of Death. Come on. Another blank. Blank, pick it. Spawning pit, pick that. Play. Sphere, cool. <laughs> yeah, sure. Extra points for artistic skill. Now the spawning pit. Talisman, nice. Haven't got any big Mirrodin block hits yet. Chromatic Sphere, yep. I'll pick the other frog mode. Viridian Longbow, yeah, I think that's okay. <laughs> what is this? This fit, like it's laminated. 
That's so. Why would he do that for another heedless? Oh, because he got three heedless ones and he needed a fourth, maybe? That's hilarious. Well, at least, like, this is painfully obviously fake. Explosive vegetation. No one. Ooh, eternal witness. There we go. Oh man, the turning's killing me. Hey, root sliver. That's a nice one. <laughs> Did a ball. I think that's a ball gray. So I think that one might be alright. Ooh, we got Deck Masters. Nothing to grunt or anything. Blade sliver, okay. Land destruction. Furnace, nice. Sorry guys, this is getting ridiculous with the spinning. I, I mean, I can't, can't do anything about the way they come, but geez, how is this guy shuffling? <laughs> Okay, this is it. Brightstone ritual, cool. Mountain. 
Oh, no way. This. How are we doing? That's good. This has got to be something. Something good. I put a, um, a foil seat of the Synod. And it's still running in an Urza deck of mine. Oh, this has got... That's got to be something, surely. Don't know whether it's been reprinted. Ooh, Plenty of Chaos. Another Explosive Vegetation. Another one. And a wild mongrel. Cool. Well, he wasn't kidding about the elves. There were heaps in there. Whoa, but let's check this out. All right, so my hunch on the um, these ones here, the championship Berlin index, didn't quite pay off. Um, there's a few hits in there. But then... I was, I was actually surprised there was this many rares. Again, it's not huge, but there's some good ones through here as well. But, you know, not a lot of mentionables. Brood Sliver. City of Streams, maybe. And the Elvish Champions, depending on the condition. So, you know, they're very nice to be put in a sleeve. And then, what do we got through here? That was pretty cool. Shooting star rare. I mean, I know some of them aren't worth that much money, but then you got three buried alives. This one, I'm quietly confident, was a great hit. These two here. This has had its day, but it's still good. Cabal Ritual. I'm amazed I haven't got around to reprinting that yet. We got some sweet foil basics here. Got some shooting star foils in here, which are the basic lands. I'm sure these still collect a fair premium. There was that random divergent growth there. And don't sleep on these. Like, I know the condition's all over the place, but this is like another 60-odd of basic lands, some white ones. I've been really successful selling clumps of these, so that helps. Every little bit helps. And then through here as well, you've got, you know, play sets of explosive vegetations and chromatic spheres and just a lot of extra little bits here and there that help pad out the buy. Uh, well, yeah, I didn't think I was going to get super rich on this buy, but I knew that there was hopefully some good bulk to go through, and I think my hunch has been, been right here. I think we're well ahead of our $60 target. And it was super fun just to go through some of the old cards. I love them. Cool, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch you next time on the Power 9 Grind. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, drop me a comment, and I'll see you next time. All right. Catch ya.